my first contact with the concept came through a telephone call from the then mayor of victoria alan lowe who had just received a report from a task force that he had put in place in two thousand and seven to take a look at problems that were increasing in victoria and hadn't prior to that been of major significance dealing with people on in on the streets suffering from mental illness from addiction and from homelessness and arising out of that study that he commissioned by a task force named by him in two thousand and seven one of the recommendations was that there had to be a coordinated effort to deal with the growing homelessness problem in victoria in greater in the greater victoria area and up to that point there had been no cool coordination of the effort to bring all of the various parties together so they i accepted the mayor's invitation to become co-chair with him of the what turned out to be the greater victoria coalition to end homelessness which was formed in and registered under the societies act in 2008 10 years ago and of course is still functioning today playing a very important role on this whole question of of housing our most vulnerable citizens the the coalition has developed a community plan which a uh, five-year plan uh, which uh, embraces a number of concepts one of which is uh, housing first which is uh, accepted by the coalition and its partners as the proper method to deal with the homeless problem we had some application of it in this in greater victoria area in the recent past with the participation of the various parties and uh, it's uh, an important concept and it's so proven it's proven that when people get housed other problems begin to take care of are taken care of but they, they need less medical attention and uh, the prospects for employment can first appear in front of them which were not possible until they got housed and so that's a concept that we are grappling with in the city now but the coalition is giving leadership to that uh, concept and uh, just one of the things that, uh, that it's doing and one of the things that is uh, the coalition is promoting and I think rightly so that there be an emphasis on making housing available for members of the indigenous community who are overrepresented in the population who are lacking housing today and of course that the roots of that all goes back to, to go, go back to the colonial days of uh, of many years ago and uh, the uh, co the the coalition has recognized the importance of, of going the extra mile, if you like, to help the indigenous people who are find themselves in this unsatisfactory and unfortunate position at this time. So just another piece of work that the coalition is doing to bring unity in, within our community. We're, we're not there yet where we've ended homelessness. It's a work in progress, uh, but it's, it's the objective and uh, we'd be a lot poorer if our community hadn't rallied around a coordinated effort to deal with the problem with, under the basis of uh, the leadership that the coalition has given to the, the problem that we face. Youth homelessness uh, takes hold. It can become uh, a basis for the onset of chronic homelessness, and it's, it's so important 
to get the ideas and the recommendations of those youth themselves who have been out there and know what the problems are in order to formulate solutions that are going to be worthwhile to cut the youth population on the street down and i know that there's some statistics that have shown that sometimes the the age of those that that are left in that unfortunate position can be as young as thirteen years of age and we've got to place special emphasis as i've said is being done with the indigenous population also with the young people so that they can avoid being being led into the chronic stream these young people that are experiencing this unfortunate state of their lives at a young age see the problem differently and they can formulate what they think solutions would be through your task force which i know is working on what those solutions are and i i have great hope for the future that the work of this committee is going to be successful and there will be young people who get housed and get housed quickly under the housing first policy that we all subscribe to and certainly the coalition has led its support to and this is one area that i think the improvements are going to be visible in the in the foreseeable future and are addressed in the plan that the coalition has laid out going forward Well, I guess the, my hopes and thoughts for the future is that it, it, it would someday be mission accomplished, and that is that all of our residents would be housed in some kind of appropriate accommodation. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is that uh, once you've housed the, the current uh, population that requires that need, there's, there are new people arriving and, and also some residents who find themselves put in that unfortunate position through no fault of their own. So it's a problem that's very hard to get ahead of, but as for the future, uh, I'm optimistic that we've got a community here that understands the problem and we, we know all of the groups that I've identified continue to be supportive and going forward, uh, Victoria, I think, can take satisfaction about how it has faced this problem and continues to work at it to the benefit of those uh, amongst us who are less fortunate and are seeking housing and other kinds of care from the community.